<clears throat> All right, so this video is going to be really, really short. I'm just going to be making some assets for a match three game using a program that I like called Affinity Designer. Um, you could use uh, whatever the Photoshop one is called, um, Illustrator. You could use Adobe Illustrator if you wanted to. Photoshop too, I just like doing it in Vector. You could also use Inkscape, which is a free program. So uh, first, I'm going to create a... Oops, I don't want Finder. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to make this 512 by 512. Uh, and I just want it to be pretty high definition. Let's say OK. Um, the first thing we're going to be making is just a great big circle, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, OK, so I want to make its width 512 and make its height 512. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to change the color of this though. I'm gonna go straight down to pure white. Um. All right. Cool. So this is the first thing I'm gonna make. I'm going to export this as a PNG. Five twelve by five twelve PNG. Um. Yeah. Leave it at bilinear. I'll export this to my desktop. Um, I'm going to leave this, just call this dot. Throw it on my desktop. And there we go. All right, so I'm going to create another new document, also 512 by 512. This one I'm going to use. It's kind of curvy. <laughs> I'll make its width 512 by 512. Uh, okay. Is that? Oh, it needs to be moved over a little bit. If I change the x to 0, that would help. If I change the y to 0, that would help. There we go. Um, I'm going to make this white as well. File, export, 512 by 512 PNG. I'm going to call this one Squircle. Uh, I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to make one more. 512 by 512. And this one is going to be a square. Set the x position to 0. The y position to zero, and then five one two, five five one two. Now the difference with this one is I'm going to be putting another square inside of it. So I'm just going to eyeball this, but I will fix it. And I'll make that background purely black. Um, I'm going to offset this by 20 on both sides, and then I'm going to make it 20 less than 512, or 40 less than 512. So 472 and 472. So it's a nice perfect square within a square. Um, and then I'm going to export this. And I'm going to call this background. And I'll save that. OK. So I know not everybody has Affinity Designer, um, but it's essentially the same process with Inkscape, which is a free program. Um, I just was arguing with Inkscape, Inkscape for the better part of half an hour, and it, for some reason, doesn't want to work on my Mac at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'll quit. I don't need to save any of these files. Um, yeah, and there we go. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I should be able to start making my uh, Match 3 game tutorial. I'm going to be using these um, little bits of assets in it. It's going to be really minimalistically designed. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Um, 
I'm going to look for a palette I might want to use. I'm probably misspelling palette. Um, I'm just going to Google search it, go to my images, and I just want to find a palette that I might like. Gosh. Cool palette. Let's try that. I just want to, there we go. I want to get a nice theme. I like that one. So I'm going to copy, save image as. I keep misspelling palette. I'm going to save that as game palette. And the reason why I want this is I want to have different colors I can use. I kind of like that one too, but there's not a lot of variety. This is nice and simple. Kind of like that one. And a few more. Oh, this one's good. Okay, so I'm going to save this image as to palette 2 question mark. Um, this is just a quick way. I like this one too. This is just a quick way to find. But not as much as I like this one. Uh, this is a quick way to find colors that work together, especially if you have trouble with color theory. Game palette three. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, um, I will be hopefully uploading some more tutorials from this um, tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Thank you very much. Have a good day.